Uh, welcome back. Uh, we have another Tales of Tribute game. Going second, unfortunately, but uh, we're almost certainly going to pick Mora. Our opponent's still deciding what patron he's going to go for first. Mm, there you go, Sijik. Sijik's good with Mora. I mean, and Pelin's pretty aggressive. Seems like I am feeling quite aggressive today. Going for... And Lalu is the last patron. Alright. Uh, opponent goes first, so he gets the first pick. The best card. Um, Custom Seizure is the best card in this. Hostile Takeover is very... Uh, speculative. He doesn't manage to get the uh, Hostile take, uh, Custom Seizure though, because he didn't get the 4 gold. We will immediately pick up Custom Seizure. It is a way... like, <laughs> the difference between 6 and 7 is not significant, and Hostile Takeover doesn't always activate. It only activates on combo, so... Yeah, Custom Seizure is just basically a better card. My opponent is kind of stuck picking Hostile Seizure because... Like... There isn't a better card to pick. He's already a little bit behind. Uh, yeah, Treasury is fine. I, I tend not to Treasury away the Mora power card because it just combos so well with other Mora cards that the cost of missing out on that is just not worth it. Which is which is nice. It's a, it's a very nice different from from the previous uh, way to play, which was mostly you turn all the power cards into gold and you don't ask any questions. Uh, this is a pretty easy buy the lantern and let's see what else we can pick up. Custom Seizure can either buy Imprisonment or Luxury Exports. Uh, we picked up the Mora, so it's possible we want to go a bit faster. But I, I can see a definite argument for picking up the Luxury Exports as well. Uh, Prophecy for us next. That one. And my opponent, unfortunately, once again, does not have uh, enough gold. So he goes for the Threads of Fate, which gives me one extra gold, which doesn't really do anything. Just gives him plus two power. Uh, I'm probably picking up Prophecy. That is reasonable. And we got an Ebony Mine, which I don't want my opponent to get because I know he has the um, Plalu combo card, so it's not something we want him to be, to be picking up. Uh, although, even if, if he gets it, like, uh, what's he gonna get? Bankrai Sentries? Yeah, but uh, Ebony Mine is something that we. Oh, how's him to see that is a good card to. A good card that uh, we don't want our opponent getting. Uh, but Luxury Explorers plus Ebony Mine probably can find something else. Uh. Yeah, I guess I guess we are sort of forced to do that, and we don't need the luxury exports anymore. We have the, one, a very high gold generating card. Uh, Port is going to use Ebony Mine to pick up I don't know Bankrai entries with the combo. Oh, he still doesn't have the combo. Okay, fine. Uh, unfathomable, a billion power. He is a super unlucky and still has not picked up his uh, Plalu combo card. We get one combo off with our Mora. Uh, should pick up Ebony Mine or, or get rid of it with Prophecy. Either would work. Uh, and the free draw card is also always welcome. So that prevents him from comboing. And we have a good shipment which doesn't really do anything. I would really like Unsettling Aura actually. That is an excellent card to pick up. Uh, I think it's worth it to pick up. I don't think my opponent has any more cards in this deck, whereas I already I have already one, so I have a slight advantage. I mean, the idea behind using Mora power is you... Hmm, I guess it's not unreasonable to Hlalu and try to win as well. But there is a real cost to using free power to pick up a Mora card uh, with the Mora patron, so I... But watching this again, I think unsettling Aura with Mora is quite a good deal. Even if your opponent gets it, it's not something that benefits his deck as much as it benefits your deck. Um... So, yep, he gets the Hostile Takeover with a combo, so picks up any 7 cost card, picks up the Unsettling Aura, yeah, he's very happy to pick that one up. Uh, and he still has 7 more power, which is going for a slightly more aggressive start. Uh, Custom Seizure, Hireling is reasonable, so is the Rag Picker, to be honest. I would not mind having a smaller deck so that we can uh, find our big cards faster. The uh, way we're going to win is probably Halalu, uh, Halalu to victory with uh, some mediocre amount, some some minor help from Mora. Ink and Blood is not bad either. I mean, okay, picking up the 6 cost is the most goal efficient play, and we yes, that is also reasonable to pick up, and we don't need a custom seizure anymore, start custom seizure anymore, custom seizure anymore. Let's just start building up our prestige. House Embassy is actually really nice, but... 
kind of want to turn it into prestige with Lalu as well. The gold that it provides, uh, we are already halfway to the end, so, you know, probably would be good. I mean, we could also pick up the Knight Commander, that's also a perfectly legit pick. Or we just pick up the two Mora cards, which is also really strong. Getting some Mora combos off is very, very good for us. And uh, we reveal a Rally, which is... We're revealing a lot of good cards, actually. Uh, since we're, we are going pretty rushy, so I think it's quite good to follow away our House Embassy and just go into the... Um, I mean, we're at 32 Prestige, and with a couple of Moral Combos, yeah, something like this, uh, it's going to be quite difficult for our opponent to to win. I mean, what, what big cards does he have? The Moral Combo, basically, is, is what he has. Tithe? He could Tithe. Oh, we'll pick up the Armory, that makes a bit... Mm. Yeah, I picked up the armory. He should probably just plow away the that the combo card because it's it is a very really heavily dependent on getting Klalo combo, which our opponent doesn't really have at the moment, to be honest. So he gets rid of unsettling aura instead of the Klalo card, which I think is correct. Oh no, he, he gets gets rid of both. Gets forty prestige. Fortunately for us, we had enough to yeah, like the Omega super duper big combo with that. Is Voracious Tome Shell good? No, I don't think so. Let's just try get a bit further and Kepra's inside will help a little bit as well. And we've got another Lantern. What does our opponent have left? I don't think he has anything left to be honest. Uh, nothing left in the tank. Everything was turned into uh, prestige with Lalu and yeah, I think, I think unfortunately he couldn't quite get enough to beat just a 3 more combo. So overall, um, we picked some good cards up and 